Okay, 9.4 Damping and Residence. This is going to be another short one, short and sweet. Damping and Residence, this is just to talk about these, these two ideas here. Damping is when a wave reduces due to energy absorption. or we could say energy loss, energy absor absorption or loss. So the idea is you might have a wave, and to the right here you can see a picture of a nice sine wave going up and down, maximum, minimum, not changing. But in the real world, when you have a wave, energy is lost to all sorts of exterior um, things. Uh, you can have heat, you can have um, other vibrations, you can have all sorts of things that are going to make this, this vibration die down. And so you can see the picture below, we have a sine wave that starts large and it gets smaller and smaller over time. And this is called damping. That's where a wave eventually decays down to zero. You can think about if you're on a, on a swing at the playground and you're swinging back and forth and each time you swing a bit less higher until eventually you just aren't swinging back and forth at all. That is damping. And the opposite of damping is something called resonance. So first off we have the resonant frequency and this is the frequency at which a medium a medium vibrates most easily. That's the resonant frequency. So every object has some resonant frequency, or might have more than one. It's the frequency it likes to vibrate at. And, um, and that, that means a lot of things. For musical instruments, we, ha we make musical instruments have certain resonant frequencies so that they will produce those sounds very nicely. But there are other situations where it's not necessarily so good. An example is um, there's a, a bridge called the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. This happened uh, many decades ago. But what happened is it was a long, p um, long bridge. There was a suspension bridge over uh, a river or a lake. And the wind was blowing against it, and it caused the whole bridge to start swaying back and forth more and more and more at its resonant frequency. And ultimately, the bridge collapsed, and it was really uh, not a great situation. And so that's the idea of resonant frequency. Every object has some frequency it likes to vibrate at. So resonance is when an incoming wave has the medium's resonant frequency, or it has the same frequency as the medium's resonant frequency. Resonant freak. I'll just put that for frequency. That's resonance. When an incoming wave has the same frequency as the medium's resonant frequency, and that means that that wave is going to be built up and up and up, and it's going to keep on building. So it's the opposite of our damping. And I'll draw a little picture down here so that resonance might look something like this. The wave starts off very small, and it gets bigger and bigger over time because the medium itself is helping the wave. It's saying, yes, I like that frequency. Cool. So that's resonance. And um, we talked a bit about standing waves in 9.2. And what I'll say about that is um, that that has to do with, with resonance, these idea of standing waves. For a standing wave to happen, the wavelength must be a multiple multiple of one of the harmonics. We talked about the harmonics. And <coughs> for a standing wave to work, it needs to match one of the harmonics. And those are the resonant frequencies. <coughs> and so any other 
um, the resonant frequencies like this. Any other frequencies won't be picked up by that guitar because it can't support it. Those aren't the resonant frequencies. Okay, um, so the very last thing I'll say here is, like the bridge that I talked about, sometimes we don't actually want resonance to happen. Sometimes we want damping. It might seem like a bad thing for these waves to di die down, but sometimes we really want to prevent the waves from, from building. We want to damp them, for instance, with that bridge. So I'll just say here, we often want damping. <coughs> so that buildings bridges etc don't get damaged and so buildings nowadays engineering has all sorts of ways of building damping right into structures any bridge that you see nowadays nowadays because of that Tacoma Narrows bridge any bridge has all sorts of damping built into it any skyscraper needs to have damping built in so it doesn't start rocking back and forth and falling over. And so this is a serious consideration for engineers. That's the end of the lesson, and um, there's just a couple questions there, so enjoy those.